Hi, I'm Dragon Hill, and welcome to Hammer Time Source SDK Tutorials. Today, we will be looking over a new feature in the Hammer tool called uh, Manifest, or Manifesting. And um, where it's located is up here in the Instance tab, and then here you'll see here, Create Manifest. Um, before we get started, you'll notice that I have a uh, small room that I've already constructed with player start and candy cane and some uh, lights. There's a reason for this. Manifesting uh, primary purpose is to take an existing map and preserve it while making modifications for whatever uh, reasons that have arisen. <clears throat> left for Dead apparently is one of these examples. We have Left for Dead 1 and Left for Dead 2. And uh, you may have, if you've made a map for the first one, uh, there are some new features for the second that you might want to incorporate, but yet you still have to preserve the old map just in case you want to uh, use it for Left 4 Dead 1 for whatever reason. Um, right now you'll see that we have some Team Fortress here and it is possible to use the same concept here if you want if there's some sort of update that has made changes to your map you can now update them. Um, so here we have uh, a map that I've created called uh, manifest underscore tut dot vmf and what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, uh, a manifest of this. Um, and keep in mind uh, all maps, uh, normal maps, end in .vmf. Um, a manifest map ends in .vmf. So let's go to, uh, let's just get started on instancing, create manifest. So do you want to create a manif uh, new manifest? Yes. And that, now it says manifest has been created. A couple things have happened. You'll see over here to the right uh, a new uh, uh, bar is shown up. It says manifest with unnamed. And of course our map is now turned very, very green. Now to get rid of this green, this is a, somewhat of a boot maneuver, but we're going to turn around and we're just going to close this out. And then we're going to reopen it. And it, uh, so we're just going to go to manifest uh, tut.vmf. Hit open. And now you'll see the green is gone. That green indicates that you cannot modify something. Um, in a moment, we'll see that in action. Um, oh, sorry, my mistake. We don't want this. We actually want the manifest map. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, open. And then manifest that VMM. We want to open that. There we go. And there, here we are. So, um, what we want to do is, uh, uh, well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go over a few things real quick. Over here in the manifest um, tab here, uh, you'll see it says unnamed. This, what has happened is that we have created a new folder in a new uh, a new file. Um, and I'm going to bring over my Windows Explorer to show that. Okay, so here we are, Windows Explorer, with all my all my uh, worldly possessions. Um, We'll go to the bottom, and you'll notice here that uh, after we've created our manifest uh, tut VMM, you'll see at the bottom there's our VMM, and right here a new folder is created, manifest uh, underscore tut. Let's open that up, and sure enough, here is a copy now of the VMF. So any changes uh, done will uh, be reflected here, not the original VMF that we started with, and there's some preference uh, folder. This file, or should I say over here, this item points to this file. As we add more what we call submaps to our manifest, more uh, VMF files will be populated here. So let's do that right now, just so you can see that in action. So let's take this uh, candy cane, and um, we're going to uh, create a submap with it, okay? Actually, better yet, let's just make a couple candy canes. There we go. Let's take our candy canes. And we're going to go over here and we're going to right click and we're going to uh, move selection to a new submap. Friendly name. Let's call it candy canes. And then the actual file name. Um, I prefer to use the uh, the term submaps but I suppose we could we could always use candy submaps. We use candy sub dot bmf and uh, hit OK. Now 
you'll notice really quick that the rest of the room went green because the rest of this room is being pointed to by unnamed. The candy canes are lit because they're being pointed to by the uh, candy canes here. Let's, I'll click up here and you'll see now the candy canes have gone green. The room is now cleared up. We can now modify the room if we want. We can't modify the candy cane. Um, another item is shown up right here is these uh, little pencils. This means that there is now something to be written to the VMF. So this manifest will always keep you updated when you made a change to a certain submap and if it needs to be written. Over here is uh, basically uh, visibility. I could, you know, viz on or off the items. Um, this allows you to, to focus on just what you need to change. Now um, I'm going to bring over the manifest uh, and you'll see here Sure enough, a new VMF has been created, candysub.vmf, and then manifest.tut.vmf. Um, as I said, we can continue making new uh, new submaps if we want. We can also, we can insert. We could turn around and bring in an existing submap, or I can insert an empty submap. So here we go, a friendly name, and we're just going to turn on empty, and then... Um, empty sub, although this will make absolutely no sense if we ever decide to put anything in it. And hit OK. And uh, sure enough, everything has gone green because we have nothing in the empty. And uh, if we pull over Windows Explorer, we'll see here that there is a new file. Now, what I'm going to do is give uh, one last uh, thing I'm going to show you uh, is that there's another, there's another option here that tells you if something's been right protected or not. Write Protect is something that's used in um, uh, version control, Perforce, or uh, Subversion, SVN. Um, Hammer, I believe, is tuned in for Perforce. We don't have this on, the, on this machine, so I can't show you the other options of version control or uh, view manifests. Um, but what I can show you is a little boot way of, of making it think Perforce is an operation. I'm going to go to empty sub and I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go to properties. And I'm going to hit read only. Hit apply. This is how Perforce actually operates. It locks out files by doing uh, write protection. And sure enough, whenever we click here, it updates. And you see the red mark or the red X, uh, white X and uh, red block. This tells you that you can't make changes to this file. It's been write protected. Um, most of you at home probably will never encounter that unless you do exactly what I just did. Um, so, and uh, uh, I believe I've covered everything. Uh, the only thing I haven't shown you is uh, when I said uh, everything that happens here in the VMF gets written over. It works both ways, but you know you can make changes to the uh, VMF you've, if you want, and it will be reflected here. Um, probably not the best way to do it because it can confuse you. You're better off just working within the manifest and having the changes be propagated into your VMF, VMF files. Anyway, uh, I believe I've covered everything here um, for manifests. Uh, now you have an idea of how you can quickly populate, and uh, I hope this uh, helps you in your mapping. Anyway, have a good day. Goodbye. Just had a bone. No, no more bone, Sandy. No more.